Nordic art is the art made in the Nordic countries, Denmark, Sweden, Norway, Finland, Iceland, and associated territories. Scandinavian art refers to a subset of Nordic art and is art specific for the Scandinavian countries, Denmark, Sweden, and Norway. In the 1920s and 30s, especially in the country of Sweden, there was a focus on making ordinary things beautiful, which was referred to as Swedish grace. The artists from this time focused a lot on making ceramics and glass, and their artwork was influenced by other countries in Western Europe. In Norway, tradi traditions such as myths, stories, and folk art played a huge role in the artwork. Artists created their own style, however, also focused a lot on landscape paintings. Edvard Munch was one of the most famous Norwegian artists whose focus was on expressionism. He is most known for his painting, The Scream. He is remembered for his artwork in the symbolism movement. Munch is often compared to the French artist Vincent van Gogh. Munch's work was displayed mainly in the museum, the Munch Music Museum of Art, but it was also dispersed to museums across the world. The Munch Museum of Art was opened in his honor because he generously donated his artwork to the Norwegian government. This piece titled Midsummer's Eve Bonfire was painted by a Norwegian artist by the name of Nikolai Astrup. He is a traditional artist who is also recognized for his work in the Expressionism movement. Astrup was famous for his depictions of Norwegian landscapes. His work is similar to the work of Munch with some differences, the most prominent being the differences in their uses of color. Anders Leonard Zorn, a Swedish painter, was the creator of this piece titled Woman. He is one of Sweden's foremost artists. Zorn obtained international success as a painter, sculptor, and etcher. He started school at the age of 15 and attended the Swedish Royal Academy in Stockholm. He is most remembered for his portraits of three American presidents and a variety of other famous figures. Zorn's favorite theme for his artwork was the nude female body in outdoor scenery. Another prominent Swedish artist from this time period was Carl Larsson. He was most inspired by his immediate surroundings. Larsson's collection of art tells the story of his childhood and experiences. His drawings and paintings depict an idealized world. Expressionism emerged simultaneously during this time period in various cities across Europe. It was heavily contributed to artistic culture in Sweden. The movement developed in response to a widespread feeling of loss and misdirection as many people in society began to increasingly feel lost or without purpose. Popular artists like Vincent van Gogh encouraged the use of disfigured objects in strong vibrant colors. Expressionism was developed as a response to Impressionism in academic art, which was often logical and traditional. Expressionism, on the other hand, was a sim symbolistic style of self-expression. The Scream by Edvard Munch was a very famous Norwegian, Norwegian painting, stolen multiple times from museums. The 1895 version of this painting was recently sold in 2012 for $120 million. The image depicted in the painting is very well known and has been used in books, posters, and even TV shows. This structure, called Nimis, is an art installation by the Swedish artist Lars Vilks. It is part of the self-proclaimed micronation of Ladonia. Nimis means too much in Latin, measuring 100 meters wide and has towers as high as 25 meters. It is an architectural playground that viewers can climb and enter the buildings. Oral-derived expressionism is an important aspect of art in Nordic and Scandinavian countries. Since the 18th century in Scandinavia, and earlier in many parts of Europe, songs of both oral and literary origin have been printed in broadsheets and chapbooks. Some contemporary Swedish performers and teachers have analyzed older singing styles in archival recordings. In late modern societies, traditional artists tend to become disembedded from a functioning vernacular milieu and at least partly become absorbed into institutionalized and formalized structures. Traditional singing in present-day Sweden is an evident example of an area where oral tradition as a comprehensive concept is being transformed and renegotiated into a selection of oral techniques, style markers, and aesthetic ideals.